The chambers of the condemned of covenants, subconscious covenants with the devil. Kindly subscribe to learn how to prepare for rapture. We were still in these chambers of hell reserved for those who entered in subconscious covenants with the devil. Then I saw a flat landscape that extended beyond the sight. It was really dark. The Lord took my hand and we began to move in this landscape. After traveling for some time, we finally arrived before a footpath that seemed like sand. On one side of this path, there was a river of lava and fire, but on the other side, there were countless demons that were seated in a gathering. I saw that they were dressed in black hoodie clothes. I saw that these demons were holding books that they were reading quickly. I noticed a remarkable throne before them. Seated upon that throne was a high-ranking demon called the representative of Lucifer. There were countless books before his tables. While I was watching I saw the demons were continually bringing captives that were in chains before his throne. And these demons were throwing these captives on the ground with violence before the throne of this representative of Satan. When I looked carefully, I concluded that this gathering of demons was actually a court where trials of deceased souls were taking place. It was a court where souls were judged by demons for their actions. Since they were found guilty according to the record and data recorded in these books, they were cast to the lava of fire that was on the other side of the footpath opposite to this court. The first soul that was facing trial in this court was a kid. He was crying and claiming his innocence. I saw that the child stood on the bar before the throne in the middle of demons. As he stood before the throne, I saw that there was a demon that kept accusing him in this trial. I was able to recognize this demon for he was the animated character I was watching when I was a child. Actually, it was the cartoon character called Tintin Malo. The demon Tintin Malo kept accusing the child. He was saying to the kid, you are guilty for you used to watch our animated movies and cartoons. You belong to us. You cannot deny it for you were watching our animated movies. While the animated character was accusing the young child, these demons in hoodie clothes were laughing, and they joined the demon Tintin in his accusations against this child. When the kid was accused by this cartoon demon of animation, I saw the high-ranking demon on the throne scrolling the pages of an open book that was before him. I noticed that his hand was long and his finger was skeletal. Finally, the demon said to the kid, you were our servant on the earth. You really worked for us and you deserved a reward for you are a faithful servant. I saw this demon ordering his servant to give the kid his reward for he deserved it. The demon said, he worked for us and he did our bidding. I saw how the kid was cast in the lava of fire. When the child was screaming I saw images of cartoons he used to watch on the earth scrolling. The Lord said, demons are behind these cartoons and animated characters in order to initiate children in witchcraft. When this kid was thrown in the lava of fire, the trials continued in this court of hell for I saw many children were being prosecuted. On the earth, they spent their short lives watching cartoons, such as Booba, Pokemon, Dora, etc. When I looked at all these children that were prosecuted, I noticed that all these kids have the mark 333 on their foreheads. The Lord said, these are candidates of hell. Whatever overcomes you, you become its slave and captive. The Lord said, the devil came up with animated cartoons with the intent of winning the souls of children in order to drive them to perdition. Note that children that are addicted to cartoons and animation are marked on their forehead with a code 333 and they're regarded as servants to the devil. Since they spend time watching satanic cartoons, they have entered in a covenant with the devil subconsciously. The enemy plotted to get their souls to fall in this chamber of hell reserved for those who have entered in a subconscious covenant with him. I mean, as children are exposed to these images of demonic cartoons, they are marked with a seal of witchcraft, which is 333. This is the code of the astral world of witchcraft and wizardry. Brother, whenever our children are exposed to satanic cartoons, they will be initiated subconsciously in witchcraft, and they will be marked with the code of the astral kingdom of witches, which is 333. Brother, codes govern the various dimensions of Satan. The code 666 is that of sin, defilement, and impurity that will come to climax in the Great Tribulation. However, code 333 is the kingdom of witches that is characterized by wickedness, hate, and jealousy. This subconscious covenant leads children into the kingdom of enchantment. When children are watching these satanic cartoons, they receive this code of the kingdom of witchcraft and they are initiated subconsciously into witchcraft.
When these children die, I saw that they were prosecuted by the judges of hell. They were cast into the lava of fire. This is the way the enemy is winning countless souls of children through animation and games. While the trials of these kids continued, I saw a lady that was brought to this court of hell and a mother was following her and this mother kept repeating to her, you cannot deny your action and you cannot refute these accusations for you are guilty. The mother said to the young lady, we know one another. You cannot deny anything here. I got you. You must admit your offenses. Don't try to deny it. The young lady asked this mother, what have I done? I have not done anything wrong. I saw that the young lady was held on both hands by two demons. And they were pulling her while these demons were dragging her to court. I saw that her feet were not touching the ground as the demons were pulling her. The scene reminded me when an offender is captured by the police on the earth. The lady was dragged with violence by demons, and she was thrown with brutality on the ground inside the court for her trial before the throne of the emissary of Satan. Behind the young lady was this mother that was agitated and accusing her. The young lady was confused and kept saying, I have done nothing wrong. I am innocent. The high-ranking demon said to the woman that was accusing the lady, Servant, you have done a lot of work for our master. You have brought us a lot of souls that you have captured. You deserve a reward. Faithful servant, this lady that you brought us is guilty and she belongs to us. Why is she refusing it? The demon said to the wizard woman who was accusing the deceased young lady, we will talk about the throne that the master Lucifer has promised to you later. For the moment, we must deal with this soul who is claiming that she has done nothing wrong. I came to understand that the woman that was accusing the young lady was a witch serving the devil. The demon said to the accused lady, you have served us a lot in your house. Every morning before going to work, you bought our cakes that our servant that is behind you was cooking and selling in your neighborhood. Thanks to that enchanted cake that you bought every morning for your family, you introduced sickness in your family. Thanks to that enchanted cake your husband has lost his job and your children have become rebellious. Our servant, the wizard that is accusing you was cooking that cake every morning. Whenever she was cooking cakes in order to sell she was declaring curses, enchantment and she was putting evil fate on this food. Brother, whenever this wizard woman was cooking the cake she was cursing and uttering evil words against the customers that came to buy her cakes. She said, whoever will buy my cake will suffer sickness. He will be struck by unemployment. The children eating my cakes will become rebellious toward their parents. The demon said to the young lady, since you are buying this cake every day in the morning, you brought sickness, unemployment, and rebellion in your home. You have served us well. You are a good servant, and you deserve the reward. The young lady began to cry inventing her innocence. When I looked at Jesus, I saw that he was mourning and in tears for the soul of the young lady. Jesus said, Aston, you're going to tell my children the food that they are eating on the earth or destroying them. These foods are not good. The enemy is using these foods against you. The Lord said, the woman behind the lady was a witch. She was cooking cakes and was cursing whoever came to buy. She said adults will have conflict, misunderstanding and disharmony in their homes. Children will be rebellious, hard-headed and undisciplined. Since this lady was buying these cakes every morning her home was affected. Her children became rebellious. And her husband lost his job and there was no peace at home. This food constituted a subconscious covenant between the enemy and people who came to buy the witch's cakes. Brother, God's children are not led by the Spirit of God and they don't pray when they eat. The Bible says, rejoice at all times. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in every circumstance, for this is God's will for you in Christ.